Welcome everyone to Mail Attack Corner of the Brick Attack Studio. Today would typically be a mail time episode, and we're going to record that. But as you can see here, we've got two boxes. And I've done mail times before where people are like, why don't you just save up until you have more? This is only a six minute video. And I understand that. And it actually works out really well because I have a lot of envelopes to go through here. So today, my friends, is going to become a letter attack day. Let's bring these over here to the operation that is currently in progress here. Clark even has a little something in progress. Stay tuned for that. But for today, let's open up all the letters and see what you guys have to say. I think most of you know the drill when it comes to this series, but if this is the first time you're watching Letter Tech, essentially I'm just sitting down and reading the fan mail that we get. It's as interesting as it sounds. So if that's something that you're into, I appreciate you being here. Not many people are, so if you're here and you're watching this, I really do appreciate you tuning in here. I'm gonna open this first one up that is, actually this came from India. How wild is that? I think this may be our first package or letter we've ever received from India. We're gonna cut right across here. Hopefully not cutting through anything. And we are officially in. There's a little something inside here. Okay, we got a little Ziploc bag of something. Oh, this, okay, we got a car. A little beat up old car. I don't think this is official Hot Wheels or uh, Matchbox, but it looks like something that would be good for outside use. We've got a uh, boot Lego figure in here along with some boot Lego. Ah, actually that is, uh, that one's Lego. We got a dirty piece of Lego. This is, uh, this is a little scary, this package here. Oh, it's how to build the minifigure. If you're curious how to build one, there you go. Uh, we've got some artwork. This is the kind of stuff that I'm into right here. We've got the uh, Brickitech logo, which has an X on it. That's that's not good. Oh, that was the maybe that was the uh, first rendition. And then we flip it over, and that is the, the finished one. We got Clark Manson beside the Brickitech Journey logo. We also have a whole bunch of stuff in here. I guess if you're sending a package from India, you got to make it worth it, right? Oh my gosh, this was sent on August 8th, 2020. Hopefully you guys can see this. This says, Dear Greg and Clark, man, I am living in India, uh, Gurajat? I watch your videos every, this is some fantastic writing, by the way. Watch your videos every day. The best were of Clark's childhood and his entertainment during the time. This place is very nice if you can come. Clark and Roxy are, uh, is same Mrs. Brickitech too. I am Lego fan too. I can't afford due to high price. It does, I don't mind. Uh, I'm giving you a one rupee coin from my pocket. Oh my gosh. Right there that is, if you guys wanna see it. Hopefully that's showing up okay. I do, um, where was I at here? I keep it safe with Clark Man. A gift too, lovely. Is that Sha Sharya? Shanya? Shar Sharya? I'm sorry, I'm butchering it. I'm really sorry. I do the best that I can here, guys, but I appreciate the nice the nice letter there. I'm going to build up your minifig using your instructions. I don't know what the guy I don't know what this guy's from exactly, but he's he's kind of terrifying a little bit. Wait until you see his face. You might be scared just a little bit. Can you guys see his face? Luckily Lego, Lego minifigs, they seem so friendly and even like the mean guys really aren't that bad. This guy Firefighter, he looks like he might be he might be an arsonist for all I know. But I appreciate the the letter there. I'm I'm sorry that I mispronounced your name possibly. It, to me it looks like S H A W. Maybe that W is going into the Y, but we kind of have a W going into an R potentially, although it's not a complete R with a Y A. So it could be Shaya or Shara. Sharya. Man, I feel terrible. Imagine somebody sends you something all the way from India and you pronounce their name wrong. Okay, we have a manual for Lego barricade, if you guys want to make one of those. Well, there that is, if you're so inclined. And uh, that's everything from that package. So thank you for that, my friend. I'm Again, I apologize for, for messing that up. It's not my intention. I, I, I do my best. We got another one here, though. This one's from the United States of America from September 23rd, 2020. We're going to cut across here. I find scissor tech to be the easiest way to get into these packages. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here as well. Did I get everything? Oh, the most important thing. The letter. Let's see what we have here as I make a giant mess beside me. This says, Hi Greg, I'm sending four minifigures and an X-Wing for Clark. It was owned by my nephew Andre, but he is now into Fortnite. No! Okay, that's fine. <laughs> and I figured Clark might have fun with it. I hope you're doing well, and here's hoping 2021 is a better year. Oh my gosh. Could it ever be? From your friend, Imperial Officer 07. Longtime supporter of the channel. I remember seeing Imperial Officer in live streams like crazy. 
but we got a whole bunch of little goodies here. I'm going to put this over here. I save all of your letters. If you guys are curious, I save every single piece of mail that you guys send me. I don't save the envelopes. These I throw away, but uh, we do have an X-Wing in here, which is feels like it's metal. That's kind of cool. Does this actually come out to become an X-Wing? Is there a secret to making that happen? I don't know if it does, but it's uh, there it is. Do our best here to give you guys a good shot of that. It's going to be a little bit of a longer video if you, if you couldn't tell. We've got Newt from uh, Fantastic Beasts. I know that because I actually collected this guy. Prior to that, I didn't know his name. I did watch Fantastic Beasts, but I, I wasn't really into it. I don't know if it's because maybe I watched it before I watched Harry Potter. And I was like, I don't know what any of this is. Maybe I need to give it a rewatch. Oh my god, this is great. This minifig right here. Let's see if we can get the focus on there. Do we got it? I hope we got it. That is like the backpacker guy, hiker, and he's got a chicken as well. Now we have a sig fig for my chickens. This is great. So we'll put him beside Newt over here. They have the same hairstyle, just in different colors. Man, you guys are so far away. I'm sorry. We've got this girl. She's the, the dog poop cleaning girl from what series was she in? I can't remember. It's hard to keep them straight anymore. Was it series 19, 18? Something like that. I She's on a stand of one of the ones that I made, and she's got the little uh, dachshund with the dog poops, which is so funny. And then uh, we got this guy. The Star Wars detectors are going to have to help me out with this. I don't know. I don't know who this is exactly, but uh, I think it's a Star Wars character, if I had to guess. Sorry, Star Wars detectors. We have this as well. What do we have here? Some type of coin. This now looks like some type of horror movie. I still can't tell what that is, but somebody out there, you guys know, you know what this is. 2007, it says on it, it says $1. I really can't make anything out on there. I'm sorry. Someone knows out there. You guys are really smart. You guys help me out all the time. Let me know what that coin is. We now have two coins. I got a rupee and I've got this. I'm getting rich, rich off of mail time. Once again, my friends, you guys down a little bit here so you can see things a little bit better. I act like this is the first time I've done this. It's actually like episode... I don't know, what is this, 20-something, probably? I don't even know at this point. I feel like we've done 20 episodes of Letter Detect. You guys are very generous, and I appreciate that. But inside here, we've got a letter. Oh, we got some artwork, too. I'll read the letter first. This says, Dear Greg and Clark, my name is Cameron. My nickname is Cam, and I'm a huge fan of your channel. I've been watching your videos for around four months now, ever since lockdown started, and I'm a huge fan of your podcast, Missing Pieces. In fact, it was Missing Pieces Episode 3 that inspired me to start a LEGO YouTube channel called Super Studs, where I try to make the best content I can about my mocks and other things LEGO-related. I love that. If you guys are trying to get inspired, or if you're thinking about starting a LEGO channel, or any channel for that matter, and you don't know where to start, Go listen to episode three of Missing Pieces. It's kind of where I go over that because I get asked that a lot. And I, I did my best to try to explain my my philosophy on it and what you can do. Um, it's I'm like, all you have to do is watch that and you'll be a millionaire overnight. No, not the not the case. But it's if, if you're trying to get inspired, it, it's a good place to go. I really like your and Clark's personalities and how they mix so well in your videos. I also really like your yard sale haul videos, even though the Chima virus prevents you from doing that now. <laughs> Sadness falls over the Brickitech studio. I love doing that every year. This year we didn't go to any yard sales. Included with this letter is some artwork of the Brickitech family that I drew. Yours truly, Cameron, also known as Cam. Cam, thank you for the lovely letter. That's a very well-written letter, my friend. I don't know how old you are. I'm assuming uh, 13 or maybe older. Uh, you did really well. And here's us. Very generous with the hairline here with me. Um, I appreciate that. Clark looking on point as always with the tongue sticking out. And there's Mrs. Brickitect. I can tell you've had some art classes because I see some of the lines you did to uh, figure out where you're going to put things. And I think you're off to a great start here, my friend. You're going to have to start an art channel now too. Tell them Brickitect told you to. Thank you for that. Next one we have here. This one's fancy pansy, eh? Look at that. It looks like it came from Target. This is what, it reminds me of Target. Maybe it came from Target. I don't know. Do you guys see it? We're going to cut into this, or rip into this, I should say. What do we got in here? Oh my gosh. It looks like we have a magnet for the fridge from New Orleans. That's awesome. Bourbon Street. Okay. I know where this one's from now. Let's get into the card. Oh my God. If I wasn't hungry before, I am now. This is from Theodore, Brittany, and Titus Terrebonne. Terrebonne? Uh, Greg and Clark, ma'am, we're so excited to be part of the Brickitect fridge. I searched 
far and wide for a Louisiana shaped magnet, and this is the best I could find. New Orleans is near our hearts, so I thought this magnet would work fine. Hope you guys like it. We love your channels and watch every day. God bless. Thank you so much, Theodore, Brittany, and Titus. Let's open this up and check this out. This is absolutely going on the fridge. We're going to do it in today's episode. I'm going to have to bring out the big guns to get into this, I think. There we go. I'm always excited to get magnets. If you guys didn't know, we're collecting magnets for our fridge. We have a little fridge down here in Barotect. And this one is awesome looking. I love the three-dimensional nature of that. I don't know how well that camera picks it up. But that is so cool. I love that. Let's just go over right now. And we're going to put you right up there. Right beside the two new magnets that I have from Builders 310. We've got London and we've got Paddy on here. And now we've got New Orleans. And here's a look at all the ones that we have. How cool is that? I love the ones that show where you're from. I just think that is, that's awesome. That's all the people that are from everywhere. Are these, these are from a guy in California, but that's okay. We got Iowa on here. I love this and we still have a lot of space here. So if anybody has a magnet, then we, we could put you on there. Again, thank you guys so much for that. That means a lot to me and I appreciate you working so hard to find that magnet for us. Make sure I didn't miss anything else out of there. We're all clear. I can't tell you how many times I've almost thrown something away before that came in the mail because I wasn't careful. So I'm trying to do better at that now. We got another one here. When did this one come to us? Oh, this is from Australia. Holy moly. Okay. Oh, I love that too. I noticed that when I was putting tape over this, their address is there, but it's got one of those like wax seals that's on the back. And I think this may be the first time that anyone has ever done that. And I, I, I just love that. So let's crack into this bad boy. I feel bad even going over that seal, but we're in. And there's a letter inside. And this says, oh, this is for Clark, man. This says, dear Clark, what are you putting on your Christmas list? Is there any Lego set you're after? Oh, it's a Clark Q&A. I'll have to ask him that. Probably anything Minecraft if he can find it. I have, and or Mario. He's super into Mario now too. I have brought, bought myself uh, the Harry Potter sets for 2020 for Christmas for my Iona. Well, holy moly. Harry Potter detector coming through. I could probably tell just from your little wax thing there, but you also have some nice stickers on there too. And I love that. But yeah, he's... He collected everything Minecraft related, so we're pretty much done there until they put out some new sets. And uh, now he's into Mario. And we just actually got two new Mario sets yesterday. So we're working our way up in the Mario range. But there's a lot more sets to get, and they are expensive. So we're working on it. Uh, this next one here, thank you for that, Iona. This next one here is also from the United States. This came September 28th. So again, we're, we're a little bit behind on these. But like all this mail, I kind of just start stacking it up until we have enough. And that's what we'll do with mail time as well. So letter attacks might become a thing every once in a while. And then, okay. Oh, it scares me every time I see an address. When you guys put your addresses on things, just be careful with doing that. Make sure the back, okay. Brick attack. Sometimes I have to like black things out afterwards on my, on my editing software, just so your guys' address doesn't come out. Cause I don't want these crazies to know where you guys live inside here. Oh, looks like we got some stormtroopers, boys. Oh, and a, uh, a TIE fighter pilot, which is also a stormtrooper in the Brickitect world. This says, Hi, my name is Ben. I watch your videos every day. Here are some mini fingers for Clark. I hope you like it. Oh, Ben, thank you for that. I'm going to keep these unbuilt. I'm going to let Clark man build these. But if I'll show you guys what they look like, you can imagine them put together. We looks like we have, well, we have three of them in here. That's pretty cool, man. Start a little army, Clark man army. I could see these guys going into Minecraft world and taking over. That'd be kind of funny. The uh, Great War of... Star Wars Episode 73, where the Steve Creeper army, or how about the, ooh, even better, the zombie army took on all the stormtroopers. It was a good one. I love the finale of that episode. If anyone remembers it, put it as a comment below. We got another one here, though. Thank you for that, Ben. Appreciate that. We got another one here. Open on video. Will do. This is from September 30th. So we're not too far behind. It's not bad. I'm going to cut across this one, I guess. Let's see if we can get in here without causing any kind of damage. And we're in. There's something inside this. Oh my gosh, we've got a whole little bag of goodies here. Clark's going to be thrilled about this. Let me look at the letter here. It's typed up. This says, Dear Greg and Clark, it's me, Caleb, again. Uh, here's a zigzag. It's a sig fig for the sig fig wall. I read zigzag. 
It's it's a sig fig for the sig fig wall. I would love it if you would put it on the wall. I have been your fan for a while now. I've included sig figs for Greg, the police, Roxy, dog, Clark, Ty, and smaller legs, and Mrs. Brickitek, long hair, brown pants. I would love it if you send me a Brickitek logo, please. I, I would love to do that, and I've done that before. But when I start doing that, Caleb, bad things happen because I'll, I'll start getting endless mail and letters of people that are asking for those. And that's the only reason they do it. So it's one of those things that unfortunately, like you do one thing for somebody and then a lot of people take advantage of it. It's like, uh, I'm sure you guys can relate if you've ever been at school and you've had a pack of gum, for example, and you give a piece of gum to your friend and then like every other kid comes over and wants a piece of gum. That's kind of how it is. So it gets out of control. And unfortunately, because of that, I have to have a policy where I can't really give them away in that way. Um, I do give them away anytime someone wins a contest. I give them one away if we're mailing something out. Um, but that's it's kind of what it's limited to. And that's a bummer. I hope you understand. I do love this. I've never seen this before. This feels very vintage. I'm going to have to ask Brooksar about this piece because that is it's really cool. Uh, let's find out, okay, who who's the sig figs here? I'm the police officer, I think. So this is me. I'll try to put this down here. This is Mrs. Brickitect. There's Roxy Bear. Clark Man has the tie. <laughs> There's Clark. Oh my gosh. He's wearing his Harry Potter costume. And then uh, the sig fig, I bet your sig fig is probably, let's see. I bet your sig fig is prop. is it this one? No. Maybe your sig fig is this one. You're going to have to let me know, Caleb. Which one of these is your sig fig? Maybe it's Spider-Man who's who's missing a hand. I don't know which one's your sig fig. That's the hard part. But I'll show you guys the Brickitect family here. There you go. We got these three. And I feel I feel terrible. Like he wants a sig he wants a logo and it's like he sent me all this and I want to send him one. But I don't I don't want it to be that. I want to do things for you and I want you to do things for me because you want to. Uh, you know how it is, guys. I don't know. The dilemmas of doing this. It makes me, oh, I don't know. Anyways, here's what we look like. And uh, I think they're they are fantastic sig figs. And we'll put them on the sig fig wall. And we'll put you up there too. As soon as I know which one you are, Caleb. Just leave me a comment on here. And let me know which guy is yours. Watch there be like six Calebs. We'll see. But thank you for that, man. I appreciate that. We'll put Roxy over here too. We do have one more left. This one uh, this one got a little, little chewed up there on the side. This is from October. Our first October one. So we'll open this on the side and inside here. Oh my gosh. We got a Transformer comic books? Oh my gosh. I got to bring you guys in to look at this. Check that out. Enjoy from Garrett. More than meets the eye Transformers. So, Clarky. Oh my. I was, you know, I was just thinking about comic books the other day. When is this from? 1985, it says down here. Do you have acne? Do you need to get rid of it by using some Noxzema clear ups? I was thinking about maybe collecting things like this. I don't know if you guys can even hear me anymore. I think you can. Um, I was thinking. I was actually thinking about collecting comic books, and I'm I'm a little scared to do that. We got a GI Joe one here as well. Oh my gosh, I'm hesitant to collect comic books because I know I'll get out of hand, and then I'll have to find a place to store them. And I listened to Brixar talk about how he is trying to get rid of all of his comics because of how much space they've taken, and maybe he doesn't enjoy them anymore. But, yeah, I'll read this to Clark, man. We're always looking for something to read before bed. You know, okay, that's a little weird. But, anyways, uh, we'll go through this and, and read it. If you guys want to see what a comic looked like from 1985, I guess. Yeah, it says 1985 as well. Some Twizzlers. I'm actually kind of interested in the ads in here. Soundwave. Oh, my gosh. That's cool, man. That's really cool. Let's see if we can find any more ads. There you go. Bonkers Fruit Candy. Didn't even know that was a thing. Bonkers Fruit Candy hits you with a new flavor, watermelon. Reach out to us, Bonkers. Look at that, Star Wars sticker album. Oh, Secret Wars. Oh my gosh, okay. There you go. There's Prime. Yeah, we'll check these out. Clark will love this. Huh. 17 cents off any two of our candy bars. <laughs> Can you imagine? Expires February 1st, 1986. To get 17 cents off. That's cool. Let's look at the G.I. Joe one here, too. This is from... What is this from? Where do you uh, where do you find the dates on these? I see it says November, issue 65. Is there a date? Or do I have to kind of figure that out? This is 1987 here. Man, that feels like the 80s. I know most of you guys probably weren't even alive then, but uh, it feels 
It feels right. Lots of like uh, acne medication ads in here. They must know their audience, right? Huh. We got baseball cards. Fourteen ninety five for a box of baseball cards. This is fascinating. This is like going into a time capsule here. This is G.I. Joe, by the way, guys. If you're into such things, this is straight out of the 80s. I'm going to see if I can find any more ads. It'd be cool if there was like a video game ad in here. I feel like they would go well together. Huh. There we go. Get to the end. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Thank you for these, Garrett. Clark and I will check these out. We'll read through them. Maybe this will be our entry into the world of comic books. I guess maybe what I would do is Marvel Unlimited. I've heard good things about that. If anybody's signed up for that, let me know what your uh, thoughts are on it. But uh, there you go. We are Our first two comic books, I guess, that we have in our collection here started. And we've got a bunch of other little toys and minifigs like crazy. Some beautiful letters that you guys sent us. I really appreciate you all doing this for us. It's, it's, it's awesome. This money. Let me know what this is if somebody knows. And uh, thank you for the for the mail and the letters from all over the place, all over the world, it's 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 incredible, and I feel very blessed to be to be in this position that to accept these from you. Thank you all for everything you do for us, and I hope to see you next week where we go into where we uh, oh where we uh, where we go into where we go into these, and if we get any other mail, I'll stack it up. If not, we'll just keep going until we get I don't know four or five. That would be enough to do a, a regular mail attack episode for you guys. Speak of the devil. Hello. Hey, we got some things over here, Clark, man. Okay, I want to do some things. What is it? Look at this. Hello. We got a Transformers comic book, a G.I. Joe comic book. We got a sig fig of you. Hey, that doesn't look like me. Sure it does. Check this out. I thought this was really cool. What is that? I don't know. It's like a little tricycle type thing. That's actually Lego. You just killed mom. <laughs> and then we got all of these things here as well. And some uh, stormtroopers for you to build. And an X-Wing. Ooh. That's pretty cool, eh? Yeah, I love the X-Wing. That was from Imperial Officer 07's nephew, I think. He's, he's grown up and... Whoa, this guy looks very scratched. Yeah, that'd be a good outdoor car, I feel like. Wow. So there you go. That's all the stuff we got in Letter Attack, Clark Man. I read through a bunch of letters, too. Clark Man is now working on the Stormtroopers. And on a side note, we've got an audience here of chickens that are... Uh, Apparently very interested in your guys' letters as well. Look at those freak dudes. Look at those dudes. Very nice, man. You want to thank everybody for the mail? Thank you, everybody. And guess what's going to happen to Spider-Man? He has to go to the hostage bowl because his hand's gone. <laughs> and this guy's going to drive. Off the hospital for Spider-Man. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you in the next letter attack.